SECs? Yeah, this is the first time in the season that we do have a bye week. So that in itself um, kind of slows things down. It gives us kind of a, a break um, mentally and physically, of course. Um, but it's it's great to take advantage of in the gym for sure. A couple of months ago, you were talking about not now, but later. Now you're in the later. You know, how, how good does it feel to kind of have that ascent as you go? Yeah, I, I, we're, I think we're picking up the perfect time. Um, being on past teams before, um, I think we've done a fabulous job, but we've never seen the peak that we've had and the consistency and being able to sustain this. So um, finishing it out in a, in a senior year has been really cool to be with this team. Is that Was that important along the way to not feel the pressure and know that eventually these things come around? It's kind of, there's a self-correcting this. Most definitely. And, you know, as a team, we can start to panic, but the coaches had done a phenomenal job of keeping us in that mindset, keeping our feet ground and be like, no, no, like, yeah, we made mistakes, but we look forward, we keep it going ahead, and we know that postseason is where our main goal is. As a senior group, was that something you guys talked about? For sure. And, and again, that I mean, this this every team is different, and um, this year is a, something I've never experienced, and I think the senior class can say that. Um, but I think as a team, we've done a great job of rallying and pulling up where we need to. Is it, how is it different to you? Is it different when there's young girls that you kind of have to pull along? Definitely. And, and being a senior and, and actually having to truly lead, you know, it's one thing to be a leader, but actually having to lead, I think, is different. Um, and I think our senior class has had to do that because of the lack of experience in the beginning of the season. But now every single girl out there is seasoned and um, they, they know what to do. Scott, you got it? You're musing over there? <laughs> what, what do you think? Like I said, as that's needed, this is a totally different gymnastics uh, format for the regional. Yeah. And then you go on to the Nationals. What do you think it would be like? I mean, is, is it, you think you have to pace yourself? What do you, what do you, what do you anticipate it would be like? Right. I mean, there will be a lot of adrenaline, I'm sure, you guys being in your home arena. But uh, it, it's it's not easy going back-to-back nights, which you all have experienced in Nationals. Yeah, luckily we, we understand the format physically and mentally. We, we're prepared to face that. Um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I think we're just going to approach it as just another post-meet um, in the meet season. And I think... Um, I don't think anything will change. I don't think we're going to try to focus on that by any means. Um, just keep the mindset and, and get the job done. What about being able to kind of do it at home? Obviously down in New Orleans and now back in Baton Rouge. Awesome. And, and that, I think that we got lucky as a senior class that we knew senior night wasn't really senior night. You know, we did. We were going to get one last time in the PMAX. So um, I, I, we're, we're super excited to be able to host this, host this and um, bring the fans back and enjoy Tiger Nation one last time. Do you feel like the momentum is kind of rolling? Definitely, for sure. And, and to have an electric crowd and have fans from all over come and experience what we get to every Friday night, I'm, I'm thrilled.